Now let's talk about the structural isomorphism. What is the structural isomorphism in this case? The structural isomorphism is it actually actually the basic concept is the distance between uh, the first carbon of the deoxyribose moieties and the AT and the GC are about 1.1 nanometer in all these cases. You can see here. So this is the morphism. So however you arrange this at, uh, arrange these bases, whatever bases you arrange, the distance between these two terminal portion of C1 is always remains the same or tends to remain the same. That again tells us an idea that the breadth of this DNA maintain is maintained in a similar distance or the ladder strands of DNA is separated apart from each other via similar distance ratio and the distance is not more than 1.1 nanometer in each case. So in this case what we were looking at. And how can we measure it? We measure it by the distance between two carbons C1 uh, of two terminal, one from the A, one from the T. Okay. Actually this is a sugar moiety, sugar moiety presents here and su another sugar presents here. So the distance between these bases always remains constant. Okay. Now let's talk about the hydrogen bonding. How the hydrogen bonding takes place? We all know what hydrogen bonding is. It's due to the formation of the polarity. Slightly positive and negative charge. We call it the del positive where the slightly positive will occur. Del negative where the slight negative. And the del positive, uh, del negative attached with hydrogen uh, of another molecule which donates the hydrogen. So in this case, whenever we find this NH group, that NH group is very good hydrogen donor, hydrogen bond uh, formating agent. And the keto group here, or the double bonded oxygen, which, is the, which are having the pi electron, is an acceptor of that hydrogen to make a hydrogen bond. So in this case, adenine and cytosine is placed here. But in, in this picture, what we are looking at, there is no way of making any bond with each other in this type of orientation because uh, because here is here can't be any interaction because the both uh, this end both having the two lone pair of electrons. This will repulse them each other to by uh, for uh, and if and prevent them to form any bonds. When strands come together in the double helix, the water molecules are displaced from the bases. Normally, bases contains water molecule, and not when they come together, the water molecule is displaced, and that gives the entropy change. Then that thermodynamically favors the reaction. This creates disorder. And, and that means thermodynamically supported this reaction and finally it will occur. Now the stacking interaction also contribute to the DNA double helix formation. We'll discuss about the stacking interaction later but now let's go through the hydrogen bonding in a little bit more detail. Uh, uh, if we talk about the hydrogen bonding, here is the hydrogen bonding. So, okay, look here. So, uh, so this is the hydrogen bond uh, acceptor, th uh, this is the donor, so it will make a hydrogen bond. That's how the hydrogen bond is made. When we need one donor, we need one acceptor.